this. Okay, here's the new elementary school narration. <clears throat> Welcome to this open house meeting to discuss the proposed boundary for the new elementary school in West Valley. This open house meeting is part of an annual process to study boundaries and school population issues in order to develop recommendations for the Board of Education. You have been invited to attend because your neighborhood is currently being considered to be within the new elementary school boundary. <clears throat> Let's take a few minutes to explain Granite School District's annual population review procedures. The annual population review is a set of procedures followed by the Board of Education and Administration to review school boundary and population issues. The procedures are designed to provide public input at various stages during the process. The process begins with a district committee, called the Population Analysis Committee, recommending a list of issues and or schools to study. This study list was approved in February. When schools are placed on the study list, a representative from the Population Analysis Committee meets with school community councils and seeks input on possible solutions for creating a new school boundary. This is done from February through June. In June, the Population, An in June, the Population Analysis Committee gives a progress report to the Board of Education. Possible options are discussed, and the Board is able to give direction to the committee as they move forward with the study. <coughs> Potential solutions are refined based on board input prior to going back out and meeting with the school community councils. From July through September, a representative of the Population Analysis Committee returns to the school community councils and continues developing the best plan and boundary consideration which benefits all schools involved. In October, the Population Analysis Committee submits its recommendation to the Board asking that it be brought forward and presented to the public for additional input and feedback in an open house forum. On October 2, the Population Analysis Committee recommended that this open house be conducted and present the boundary for the new... On October 2, the Population Analysis Committee recommended that this open house be conducted and present the boundary for the new elementary school. The board voted to present the proposed boundary to the community at this open house meeting tonight. Your input from this open house will be compiled, reviewed, and shared with the Board of Education. After reviewing the open house comments, the Population Analysis Committee presents a final recommendation to the Board of Education in two public board meetings. The recommendation is reviewed in the first board meeting in November and is voted on for the first time. <clears throat> after, another after another period of time in which further public comment can be received, the board... Okay, <clears throat> picking it up with page 12. After another period of time in which further public comment can be received, the Board of Education will review the popula... After another period of time in which further public comment... After another period of time in which further public comment can be received, the Board will receive a review from the Population Analysis Committee and the Board votes on a final action in December. <clears throat> At tonight's open house meeting, you will see the details of the boundary adjustment for the new school and help us gather feedback toward a final decision. During this study, we kept three objectives in mind. First was to create a resident boundary for the new school to fit as close as possible within the focus of this school. Second was to minimize disruptions as much as possible. Third was to always consider student safety. This map shows the current boundaries of the local elementary schools and the location of the new elementary school. The new school is located at 5194 West Highbury Parkway. 
The first recommendation for the new school boundary is to take the western boundary and extend it from 5600 west to where the new Mountain View corridor will run from north the first recommendation for the new school boundary is to take the western boundary and extend it from 5600 west to where the new Mountain View corridor will run from north to south. You will see here the proposed boundary in red and the new Mountain View corridor in yellow. This neighborhood, the Balmoral Townhome Community, has 75 elementary age students living here. They currently are bused and attend. This neighborhood, the Balmoral this neighborhood, the Balmoral Townhome Community, has 75 elementary age students living here. They currently are bused and attend West Valley Elementary School. It is recommended that <coughs> it is recommended this neighborhood be included in the new school boundary and these 75 students be bused and attend the new elementary. Because the new Mountain View corridor will create a large barrier between this school and West Valley Elementary, it seems reasonable to include them in the new boundary and to give, and continue to give them safe passage by busing them to the new school. We are now going to draw the new school's recommended south boundary on this map. Starting at the Mountain View corridor, starting at the Mountain View corridor at approximately 5800 west, the boundary will go east on 3100 south. To, 50 to, to 5410. One, two, three, testing one, two, three. At 5410 West, the boundary will go north and begin stepping east and north to progress behind ve to progress behind west to progress behind Valley Crest Elementary's campus. The recommendation is to include the majority of the Highbury development. It is easy to see why this neighborhood is recommended to attend the new elementary. There are 96 students who reside here. Continuing to build the south boundary, we move east going along the back retake. Continuing to build the south boundary, we move east going along the back side of the current Valley Crest neighborhoods. It is good to note that the only outlets from these neighborhoods run south to 3100 south and the boundary also continues east to the Monroe neighborhoods. 25. We are now at the third neighborhood being recommended for inclusion in the new boundary. There are 115 student <coughs> We are now at the third neighborhood being recommended for inclusion in the new We are now at the third neighborhood being recommended for we are now at the third neighborhood. <laughs> we are now at the third neighborhood being recommended for inclusion in the new school boundary. There are 115 students in this area and all are entitled to busing to their current school, Valley Crest. It is recommended that these 50 It is recommended that these 115 students continue to bus and attend the new elementary school. Based on this recommendation, the boundary comes south to 3100 south and then east to Bangadur and then continues north following Bangadur. These are the new recommended boundaries for all three schools. West Valley Elementary, retake. These are the new recommended boundaries for all three schools. West Valley Elementary, Valley Crest Elementary, and the new school. Here are the student numbers based on the recommended boundary change. West Valley Elementary will be at a comfortable 90% of capacity with 640 students. Valley Crest, Elementary, Valley Crest Elementary will be right at 100% with 627 students and will no longer need their outside portable classrooms. The new school will have 286 resident students and will attract the other 50% from outside the school boundary. Just as a reminder, the remaining students for the new school will come from other locations, and we have district representatives here this evening who will give you further information about the new school and its programs for students. For a few more minutes, let's finish talking about the for a few more minutes, let's finish talking about the boundary study and the for a few more minutes, let's finish talking about the boundary study and provide a little more information.
29. Three boundary committees, West Valley, Valley Crest, and our district's Population Analysis Committee favor this boundary option, and the Board of Education agreed to bring this option to the public open house meeting tonight. A boundary adjustment of this size will cause some disruption, but it is felt this option is the least disruptive. There is always concern for the safety of students walking to school. This option provides busing for students who have hazardous walking routes with a, and, West Valley City Public, and West Valley City Public Safety representatives are here this evening who will talk with you about the walking routes to the new school's location. Overall, there is a good population balance between all five schools. Overall, there is a good population balance between all five schools and the proposal allows for population growth in each school as well. Shutting off my cell phone. Thirty. At tonight's open house, <clears throat> at tonight's open house, there are detailed maps showing each school's proposed boundary. District representatives, including members of the Board of Education, are at this meeting to answer questions and to listen to your suggestions. Information about the new school is also information about the new school is also available. Please take the time to complete a comment card and share your thoughts regarding the proposal. Comments will be received through December 1st. Contact information is provided at the t contact information is provided at the tables in this room. Comments sent to the Planning and Boundary Department will be copied to the Board of Education. This presentation will also be on our website. The Population Analysis Committee will study public input before making its presentation. The Population Analysis Committee will study public input before making its next presentation to the Board of Education on November 13, when recommendations are reviewed. The Board of Education will continue to take public input until December 1, and then the Board will take its final action on December 4. Thank you for your attendance tonight. Please take a moment now to complete a comment card and visit with district representatives. Visit www.graniteschools.org for updated information.